Listen, you can expect to be rewarded by God. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Luke chapter 4 verse 8 says, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Well, if you've been here at all for any amount of time, you know that the Holy Ghost, He is God. He is the Lord God in the earth today, and we walk with Him. Here it says, you are to worship the Lord thy God and Him only serve. If you're one of those people that don't worship Him, then I don't have anything to do with you. Now, that might seem harsh, but that's what the angel said to me but if you do worship him then you are in this society did you hear that you're in with a group of people that do worship the Lord our God and him only serve and this is good news I'm gonna talk about it tonight if you do worship him then you're in this society and you can expect you can expect certain things you can expect certain benefits well i don't worship the holy ghost well then you have a choice you can either choose to become a holy ghost worshiper something you weren't or you can choose to reject me you don't worship the Holy Ghost then you will just continue the way you were before well, and you say well what can I expect as a Holy Ghost worshiper what are these benefits you speak of that I can expect being in this society well I'm glad you asked uh, that's what this message is about Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to god now the god we're talking about coming to is the holy ghost the god who is in the earth the one that you're worshiping and serving he that comes to god must believe that he is are you there yet we believe he is is where he is in the earth he is first of all he exists but he's in the earth say he's in the earth we believe that he is and and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so we believe the Holy Ghost is is God is in the earth and that he's rewarding us so as a Holy Ghost worshiper someone who's in this society we can expect rewards we can expect listen you can expect to be rewarded by God God who God the Holy Ghost the one who's in the earth say the Holy Ghost the one who's in the earth is rewarding me Oh, you shouldn't expect it no you should expect it because he says you would be rewarded by him you're supposed to believe that he rewards you that pleases him if I don't believe he rewards me that doesn't please him as a Holy Ghost worshiper you can expect reward well contrary to popular religious thinking believing him for reward pleases him popular religious thinking is that believing for reward is somehow sacrilegious oh bad oh selfish no not selfish scriptural I'm attempting to please him because I want the reward that's selfish no that's scriptural 
the reward is why you go to work very few people get up and go to work if it wasn't for the reward of getting a paycheck at the end of the week salespeople know this they add a reward to the purchase because you know buying the 24 piece tupperware set isn't very exciting but when they add the benefit of the model sailboat that comes with it you're like oh that's exciting you see they add a reward to it so that you buy in it's a scriptural principle to serve god for reward now you should just serve him because you love him with all your heart okay sure but this is scriptural it's scriptural to serve god for the reward it pleases him when you do so david when he was about to slay goliath he asked what do i get what do i get if i slay the giant first samuel 17 24 and all the men of israel when they saw the man fled from him and were sore afraid talking about goliath and it shall be that the man who kills him the king will enrich him with great riches and will give him his daughter and make his father's house free in israel this happened three times david said what do i get if i slay goliath no he should have slain goliath out of the goodness of his heart he asked about the reward and he got the reward he did it for the reward nobody wants to hear that <laughs> la 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 they want to hear it no he did it for the reward satan accused job of serving god for the reward job 1 9 then satan answered the lord and said doth job fear god for nothing or does job worship god for nothing verse 10 hast thou not made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side hast thou not blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increase in the land guess who accuses the brethren of serving god for a reward the devil does so don't get in that crowd don't be in that crowd of people that say you shouldn't serve god for the reward i serve him for the reward and it pleases him are you here are you ready for this deuteronomy 28 47 says because thou servest not the lord thy god with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things you are supposed to serve god with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things if you don't then therefore you serve thine enemies are you here you're supposed to serve god for the reward say it i'm supposed to serve god for the reward it pleases him and if you don't serve god for the reward you're not doing it right first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god that we might know the things that are freely given to us of god why might you say do we receive the spirit god the holy ghost that we might know the things knowing the things is the reward oh that's selfish that you're that you've received him that you might know the things it's not selfish it's scriptural the holy ghost is the promise acts chapter 2 verse 39 says that that we receive the holy ghost the promise he is the promise you can expect greater relationship with all the promises by receiving him and knowing him and worshiping him 
what can i expect by worshiping him the holy ghost the promise a greater relationship with all the promises of god yes amen first timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy i trust in I believe in my faith is in the living god who's the living god the holy ghost he's the living god in the earth today my faith and trust is in him giving me richly all things say all things all things to enjoy that's the reward i serve him for that all things to enjoy man this doesn't sound anything like what i was brought up in i know but you weren't brought up worshiping him first corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7 but the manifestation of the spirit who's the spirit the holy ghost the manifestation of the holy ghost is given to every man to profit with all with all is an old english word that just means with so we profit by the manifestation of the spirit in our life when we worship him we have a greater and can expect a greater manifestation of him in our life to profit with are you seeing a trend here profit all things to enjoy richly so what do i get if i'm a holy ghost worshiper if i'm part of this society you get rich yeah there's a whole plethora of benefits that come along with him but i'm trying to show you the first and foremost benefit is you get rich say i get rich proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the lord do you suppose he blesses those who worship him the blessing of the lord that you stand in makes you rich you get rich when i worship him say when i worship him i get rich the blessing of the lord makes you rich and adds no sorrow with it this is not a side issue or like most of the church preaches a non-issue as if it's not even a thing serving him for reward is not a thing you don't please god hear the words of jesus matthew 6 verse 31 therefore take no thought saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed verse 32 for after all these things say all these things do the gentiles seek you understand that right the whole world is seeking things they're seeking things they're seeking things what they're gonna eat what they're gonna wear where they're gonna live what they're gonna drive all of these things for your heavenly father knows that you have need of all these things verse 33 but seek ye first say first is it second third first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you that's the reward you're seeking the kingdom of god the holy ghost the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink but in righteousness peace joy in the holy ghost his kingdom his way of being right and we know that's by speaking in agreement with his word and all these things shall be added unto you what things all the things that the gentiles were seeking after are given to you the clothes the houses the food the cars whatever it is that you need you have need of all of them they're added to you are you here don't get religious on me 
I spend this whole time up till now in this message trying to bring you here and you want to just go down your little rabbit trail again of religiousness knock it off seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things all the things added to you makes you rich it wasn't a side issue to Jesus you seek the kingdom you get rich sounds wrong to your head doesn't it I seek the kingdom of the Holy Ghost and his way of doing things and I get rich I seek the kingdom and his righteousness his way of doing things and I get rich that's the reward it's not a side issue in many ways it's the issue I personally know people who've rejected the gospel because they don't want anything to do with a God of poverty but that's the God that the whole church has been preaching to them sacrifice everything and die and go to heaven that's not what Jesus said he said seek the kingdom get rich that'd be a good song seek the kingdom and get rich imagine the worldly people that have rejected the gospel because it was about serving a poverty God if you flipped it you included that you get rich the number one primary benefit to worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today is that he will make you rich it's the first thing God did for Abraham Genesis chapter 13 and verse 2 and Abram was very rich in cattle in silver and in gold the first thing God did for Abraham was to take him out of his father's house and make him rich what can I expect as a Holy Ghost worshiper and being in this society is God the Holy Ghost will make you rich there are many promises to you as a Holy Ghost worshiper healing health youth renewal your relationship with all the promises will increase listen did you hear that your relationship with all the promises will increase because you're worshiping him quicker response times listen it won't take as long things that used to take a long time for you pleading with God and you can expect the words you say to come to pass quickly increased angelic involvement in all the affairs of your life including your family the Holy Ghost is the Lord of Spirits and when you worship him angelic forces are released unto you that weren't before and they'll do things for you all these benefits come with him and come to you as a Holy Ghost worshiper and part of this society but first and foremost expect prosperity the Lord of Spirits is the Lord of Hosts Haggai chapter 2 verse 5 so my spirit remains among you fear ye not for thus says the Lord of Hosts the Lord of hosts can be translated the Lord of spirits because the hosts are his spirits thus says the Lord of hosts yet once it is a little while I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land I will shake all nations the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of hosts what glory you say verse 8 the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts who is the Lord of hosts the Holy Ghost is the Lord of hosts he says the silver is his the gold is his verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former saith the Lord of hosts 
and in this place will I give peace saith the Lord of hosts he says the silver is his and the gold is his and the glory of this latter house who is the latter house you is the latter house what know you not that your body is his temple you worshiping him proves you are his temple when I say I worship you Holy Ghost I am literally fulfilling my job as his temple and he said the glory of this latter house shall be greater say the glory of this latter house shall be greater what glory silver and gold did he stutter no he expounded upon it lest you get religious with your idea of glory the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former and the former was solomon's temple it was pretty great so all of these things you can expect as a holy ghost worshiper expect reward say when i worship him i expect reward holy ghost i worship you you are god in the earth today and as i worship you and as we worship you we expect reward and the number one reward we expect is to be made rich is to have prosperity and then all of the other things begin to come to pass says the spirit lord but you must get over these first hurdles first for i am not a god of poverty i am a god of wealth respect me as a god of wealth and i will increase you beyond where you thought you could go we worship you holy ghost in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are a god of wealth i expect reward when i give it's given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over do men give into my bosom in this life in this time i am rewarded 100 fold in jesus name thank you for it amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right